Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Right now we have the anvil in the mill. We're going to hog out the rest of the hardy hole, do some work on the horn, get it all ground out, and then heat treat the top. Let's get it. Okay, now that this thing is done being heat treated, it's time to do a little bit of shape on it. Right now it's technically a, an anvil. It'll work, you can beat on it, but the horn is really weirdly shaped. And it doesn't even really look like a horn. It's flat on top, not very round, and well, it's not hard either. It's that stupid cast material. For now, I'm gonna make this thing a bit rounder and get rid of that flat top. Make the horn a little hornier. Um, more like a horn, yeah. It's been raining come and go, and I don't really want to destroy this camera, so we moved inside. Okay, I'm about there on my profile. It isn't quite pointy, but you know what? That's a lot better. If you look on this side, right side has a big old edge. All right, poor lighting, but right side has this big old edge and a pretty sharp radius, pretty small radius. This has a much shallower, larger radius. So I'm gonna get the right side to match the left side and put a little more finish on her, see what she looks like. This is much better. It's still pretty flat on top, but it's much, much rounder. Looks a lot more like a horn than the original. Next up is throwing on the flap disc and cleaning the whole thing up. I am obviously no blacksmith, but I think this anvil did okay. So, now that we're finished with the thing, let's go over it. Some pros. Well, the price. I'm less than $100 into this thing altogether. Uh, yeah, a few hours of work. I'm about six hours of work into this thing altogether, which, that really ain't bad. It was fun. 
I learned quite a bit along the way, uh, some things I should do, some things I shouldn't do, and all together it was a fun building experience. This thing is relatively sturdy. It's cast iron, which isn't wonderful, but the A2 steel on top is, is pretty good. It's welded on there pretty secure as well. Obviously this anvil isn't very heavy duty. I mean, it weighs like 60 pounds altogether, but it does the job. Some cons, well, it's cast iron everywhere except that A2 top. On that ledge beneath the hardened top on, and on the horn, it's pretty crappy. Some soft steel right there. One thing that was my fault, not the fault of the hard freight anvil, I didn't get the steel hot enough when I hardened it. So that A2, it should be around 1750 degrees, give or take, in order to properly harden it. I got you at the most 1500 degrees which that difference right there definitely affects the end result. That steel is definitely not as hard as it should be. That's okay. I definitely plan on following this whole thing up. Eventually, I'll get a better setup so that I could heat up that steel a lot hotter, get it to the proper temperature, really get that A2 hardened up top. Another thing I plan on doing is welding all the way around the surface of the horn and then grinding it down smooth, still keeping some weld on there, just so it's not cast iron that I'm beating on, it's hardened weld. It's not perfect, but it'll be better than cast iron, definitely. Another thing, I still need to mount this. Right now it's just sitting on a bench. Eventually I'll get a wood round, screw the thing down. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like, comment the video in order to help us out. See you next time.